Hello everybody. Sorry I'm a little bit scruffy. Been working on a Polaroid adapter project. It's kind of eating my brain and taking all day. My next camera is the Kodak Mickey Matic. It was made from 1988 to 1991. It came in what they called rose, this kind of magenta color, and blue. I think it was geared to boy-girl kind of colors. It had a suggested retail price of $11.95. I did find a uh, thrift drugstore ad, showed it for $9.99, including a roll of Kodak film. I read a few places online that these were made in Mexico or Japan, but inside the film compartment on this metal plate, this one says Rochester, New York, and down inside the film compartment, it has a Camerosity code. This was made in 1988, and it was made in the U.S. Um, you can still get 110 film. The Mography Society sells quite a few different kinds. This was a Mickey Mouse branded version of the Kodak Winner. There were a whole bunch of variants of it. A lot of you know product tie-ins, movies, promotionals, giveaways, those kind of things. Um, it's fixed focus. The lens is way down inside here. It's a simple meniscus lens. It's 25 millimeters and uh, f11, so the aperture is fixed. They were really trying to get the maximum depth of field, so you get good pictures out of the fixed focus lens. There are two shutter speeds, 1 90th of a second, and then if you had the flip flash installed, it was a 1 40th of a second. I don't have one right now to show you, but the Flip flash is a tall, skinny thing. You shoot half of the flash bulb, just take it out, put it back in, shoot the other half. Uh, it's pretty tall, so this thing probably looked pretty silly with this big flash bar thing sticking out of the top. The flash distance with a flip flash is 5 feet to 16 feet, so 5 feet was probably uh, right around the close focus distance. My test roll was a roll that was in it. Um, it's scotch color uh, print film made by 3M. This was also about the time when they bought Ferrania. So this may have actually been made in Italy. Um, I had a hard time even finding out what the film speed is. It says it's C41 process. Nowhere on this does it have the film speed got out my trusty 32 power loop to read the tiny, tiny edge coating on the film. It's 200 film, which is kind of interesting because this camera does not have the sensor that reads this ridge um, to see if it's 100 or 400. So I'm surprised things were not horrendously overexposed. Um, that is about it. It's a simple camera. Um, a cool thing is that it doesn't need the film holes to cock the shutter like some of these do. So reloaded film with no perforations will work just fine or you can use 16 millimeter uh, movie film in it if you're willing to crack these guys open and reload them. That's why I did this crazy sneak the film out of the cartridge thing. So this is all in pretty good shape. So some black and white film is coming this guy's way. Might be a while before I get to it, but it's a good one to test for proof of concept because it has no film sensing for the speed, doesn't need the perforations, so we're good to go. I'll see you then.